Bach, it's the first Byzantine iconography painting tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to start off with the very basics. The materials we need to paint icons, how to prepare egg tempera, and some brush exercises for painting techniques. Before we look at the actual materials we need to use to paint icons, we need to think about our workspace. It needs to be clean and uncluttered so that we're not distracted when we're working. Let's have a look at the materials we've got in our setup. We have our egg emulsion in a dropper bottle, which we'll see how to make in the next lesson. In order to paint with the pigments we have, we'll need a binder. This can be gum arabic for watercolour or linseed oil for oil paints. For egg tempera, it's the egg yolk. We first break the egg and separate the yolk, which we'll be using. Now that we have our egg emulsion, we can start preparing our colours. In order to prepare our tempera for painting, we need our egg emulsion, our clean water and the pigment we're going to use. Then we add some pigment and we mix it to a creamy consistency before adding the water. Before we can paint on our gesso panel or watercolour paper, we need to prepare the surface so that it will be less porous and more absorptive. If we hold our brush at too much of an angle, it's impossible to get a smooth transition from thin to thick to thin. Fill a page with lines like this, long ones, short ones, and paint for different angles and sizes. In the final exercise, we're going to be doing blending strokes. These are used either for blending the rapsimata, or darker lines, into the proplasmos, or local colour. We're going to blend the colour by working inwards, painting a line, down the inside line. Practice this blending technique over and over as it's very important to master it both for painting garments and faces. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Till next time, keep practicing. Yeah.